Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you my little battery pack that I've made up. Uh, so this is something that I wanted to make up for the car. This is a 12 volt pack. And you see the little tape here that I've got. Um, this is tape that I found, um, I guess on eBay, and it's quite flimsy. Um, it's flimsy tape, but it seems to work okay. Hopefully it will carry the current that I need. If not, I guess I'll find out. Um, but I've got this, uh, this is a 3S pack. So you can see here I've connected all these ones up together. And on the other side I've connected the other side up together. So I've got um, those connected up. And so basically I've also bought this little... Uh, board so I've got the battery positive here um, so this is the battery positive connected and then I've got the um, battery one it says there so that's the uh, positive and negative connected together so I've got the positive of the whole pack and then the positive and negative connected here to battery one and then I'll just turn it over On the other side, um, I've got the battery two, so this is the um, second lot. So on the other side of this positive here is the under under here is a positive and negative connected together. So that gives me the the three S, um, and then here's the whole pack uh, negative connected here. So if we can get some focus there. Yeah. So I've got the battery negative, battery two, battery positive, battery one. And it gives a 3S and then I charge it through this pack, um, pack minus and pack plus here. I've also got these little wires here connected and these are for the um, checking the voltages. So I like to also keep an eye on the voltages. Um, and I've got this little thing here. So this does up to 8S. And so, um, so I've connected uh, one here and almost the same configuration as this little board. I've connected some stuff up. And I've used this here. If you're wondering why I've used um, hot melt glue. Um, is because I don't want anything pulling directly on these um, here. So, uh, so to save anything pulling directly on there. I've got the hot melt glue there. So when I yank this. If I pull this it doesn't matter. Because it's just pulling against the glue. It's not pulling against the connection there. So that's why I've done that. I've done that everywhere. So basically... Um, yeah so thanks for watching I just wanted to give a quick demo of that and uh, if you wanted to hook a pack like this up I've 3D printed these um, these blue things here uh, and I've cut them in half so this was actually one long one but I actually only wanted one two three four five of these connected in parallel um, because I don't need any more than that for my car. I want to um, play a few, uh, use a few DVD players at once and stuff. But, um, but yeah, if you think of doing something like this yourself, remember to have the negative, positive, the negative there. And then, so this is this side. And then if you look at here, it's on almost the opposite. And so I've got the negative to the positive. And then this is the main. So these are all connected together with this tape which as I said I'll see how it works I've gone with the fusing here because I'm not sure uh, whether I, well I'm not sure whether I need it but uh, we'll see and I'm planning on putting this in a 3d printed box uh, just to protect everything I'm also planning having a couple of USB out of it so I can plug some USB devices in and charge them and also a couple of um, little uh, like DVD player plugs as I was saying um, so what I'll do is I'll connect a car 12 volt um, USB charger type thing up to it and then just hook that directly into this pack into that pack minus and positive I should be able to pull a few amps out of this each of these um, battery packs should be able to deliver at least an amp so uh, that's like uh, 5 amps at once at least and uh, this will last quite a while so this is um, the amount of uh, milliamp hours is probably uh, 10, 10, 
1000 milliamp hours at 12 volts um, so yeah should last a good amount of time so this is a 1s to 8s voltage checker and uh, I'm only using the 3s here um, because I've only got 3s hooked up so you can see this cycling through each battery voltage and then all the whole battery voltage um, all together so if we look on the back here hopefully you can see that it's basically got uh, the negative on the far right there and then 1s 2s 3s there uh, so the negative is obviously connected to the negative that gets connected last i noticed otherwise um uh, doesn't detect all the batteries but that's fine so also um so the 1s is connected to this battery pack here and this is where the 1s is and then the 2s is under here connected here with this gray uh, as you can see the gray wire there and then the 3s is just the main battery positive there um, and so that's pretty cool uh, so that will give me an alarm if the voltages get too low but really it's mainly just for me to really quickly check uh, if there's anything wrong with the voltages and so I'll, when I build this box for this I'll plug that in and I can um, uh, I can then just quickly check the voltages to make sure nothing's dropping too low uh, now the balance board should handle all that but um, it's good to have uh, have a backup and something where you can really just see everything now the thing with these battery voltages is you might think well this looks like it's obviously uh, 4.18 volts so let's say the first one here, number one, is 4.19 volts. Um, but the thing with these batteries is because they're in parallel, um, all the voltages will kind of equal each other out. So th the parallel batteries will feed each other with the voltages. And one thing to note, um, that means that if this battery voltage is too low, other batteries will sort of feed voltage into it. Um, so when you make these battery packs up like this make sure that you have all the batteries at this exactly the same voltage when you hook them up otherwise you're going to get let's say this one was at three volts and then these were at 4.2 volts you're going to have all these 4.2s trying to uh, give voltage to this three volt battery um, and you can definitely do some serious damage to a lot of stuff uh, if you make packs up where you don't have equalized voltages within all batteries so before I created this battery pack I actually uh, charged every single battery fully um, before I soldered everything together so that I knew that when I was going to hook a load up to it uh, it wasn't going to um, sort of try and uh, dump all the voltage into an, uh, an discharged battery or something um, so so if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and uh, thanks for watching